Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Brand new printables from Ella Roots up on her site and on Etsy. This specific one that I've printed here is on the Lord's Prayer. It's got beautiful washi tabs, elements that you can cut out, fussy cut. Um, I love the vintage look of the writing. It's beautiful. I wish I could do calligraphy like that. There's beautiful hymnal paper, prayer requests, and then those same repeating images, but they are reverse sided. So you can use them on either side of your Bible. And then the big um, hymnal piece, if I can just get it right way up. There you go. Uh, remember that if you go this week, they're releasing today. If you go this week, you will get 20% off these printables. I've already journaled on the Lord's Prayer in Luke and in Matthew. So I'm just doing it on the opposite page in Luke. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is creating a little pocket with this hymnal paper to put my prayer requests in so that I could slide it in and out, reprint if I need to, add some more if I want to. That is the great thing about printables is you can use it many times. So I'm cutting to size this pocket using very much my eye and no specific measurements. Uh, so I wanted to stick out a little bit on the top. And so I just measure it accordingly and then cut off some of the extra excess on the sides here for the pocket. Now I don't have a, um, now I can't remember what those are called, a scoring board, <laughs> but I do have one that I got in a magazine and I've got a little, uh, I don't know, scoring tool. These are dot tools or whatever they're called. So I'm just makeshifting some score lines so that I could fold this little pocket. You want to fold it um, on the two sides and the bottom, and you want to cut some corners into this bottom two, uh, or cut some square triangles into the bottom corners so that it folds over easily and sticks down easily. Then I'm just taking some normal double-sided tape, and I'm going to be sticking those to the sides of these, um, uh, the, the sides that's going to be sticking onto the page and uh, making sure that they're secure pretty tight. I actually do think that I might need to go redo these. Uh, my hands had some cream on, so I think that came off on there. So I'm not 100% sure it'll stick forever, but you know, <laughs> uh, if it doesn't, we can just redo it, right? So I uh, want to do a bit of a background and obviously going to be using my current favorite, which is using the gelatos on a nonstick surface, scribbling them down, picking them up with a foundation contour brush, and then putting them onto um, or through the stencil onto my page. No rhyme or reason, using some olive and a teal color, uh, just picking them up randomly. And then I'm taking my Faber-Castell brushes and I am picking up the gelato with some water and painting some of these leaves that are on uh, this printable for the fussy cutting elements and uh, I'm just wanting to recreate sort of some of those on a different um, or a variation of surfaces so some are um, cut out some are painted on just giving it that little bit of extra and so I'm sizing it where it's going to go and then uh, just checking if everything fits okay so i really wanted to use that title the lord's prayer but it just didn't fit in my pocket was a little small next time i might make it just a, a bit taller <laughs> to put in that because i didn't want to use or or lose the hymnal Im image on this uh, pocket so i'm using this little bird and cutting off the whatever is over onto the other pages you do see some wetness on there at the back of this page. When it dries, there is no bleed through, so all good. <laughs> There's no page prep on this page either. Uh, what I'm going to be doing next is to just put this little tab on my prayer request card uh, so that it can in and out easily. I used the prayer from the tab that is included in the set on the back of this page so that it, I can still read prayer requests, etc, etc. Really wanted to use this faux washi. I actually want to just use everything. <laughs> but yeah, use the faux washi and then um, put my verse address tab on the top, Luke 11, and then used the cross reference at the back of the prayer tab on my prayer card 
to just remind myself that it's in another place. Then I'm taking some Nuvo Crystal Drops. Um, this is kind of a metallic shimmery one and it's in that teal green and just adding some dots in various places because I quite like that three-dimensional element to this little bit of mixed media thingy going here. <laughs> Uh, I've got this Amen stamp in a Creative Retreat stamp set from May 2019 and um, I love this stamp. It says Amen when it's got the cutest little wonky heart at the end of it and this is a Creative Retreat olive ink, cocktail olive I think it's called and I'm using that just to stamp out some of the other words on this stamp set that says pray big on your knees. Um, boldly praying today for healing for my sister, for healing for Ella, who um, also is battling a condition. And, uh, you know, we've got all these silent warriors out there that need our prayers, that on the surface looks like things are going great, but they're battling an illness that you can't necessarily see and fighting it, not owning it, fighting it. And they are strong, mighty women of God. I just recently learned that Lindsay Lanning and her family are also not feeling great. And so I'm adding them to my prayer request for this week that I've written on you. And uh, then that is calling it that. Added some of the cutoffs so that they look tucked in behind the pocket. And I'm quite liking the way that looks. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.